Hello, and welcome to Hump Day Bar Hopping with Stylic One. I'm your host, Sarah Fletcher, and today we're going to be talking about shiny objects. Now, I'm not talking shiny objects like distractions. I'm talking shiny objects as in the things that catch your eye. So grab a drink and let's go bar hopping. Okay, so here we are over at the Styliquin demo site. For those of you who are not familiar with Styliquin, we'll do a super quick demo. Uh, Styliquin is the green bar on the right, and all you have to do is drag a product onto the Styliquin bar. What? And you get this really cool full layout for each product. And by the way, that happens automatically. You don't have to build those. It just happens. So you can flip through a site like you flip through a magazine. And when you see something that you like, you can add it to your idea board. And see, there's the, the thing that we liked. And you can move things around. You can change colors and sizes. You can say, OK, I still like the red. And then when you have exactly what you want, you can move stuff into your cart. So that's me moving stuff into your cart. And you can still change it even when it's in the cart. So really fun. It's a, it's a better way to shop. I mean, it's, once you start shopping with it, it's just so much fun. Anyway, and all those things are now in the cart. So shiny objects. Now we're going to go in the back way to Styliquin here. So this is the admin view of Styliquin. And we're going to go to insights. We're going to refresh the insights. And over here, you're going to see shiny objects. Now, shiny objects are the most dragged products. And one of the things that's really interesting with Styliquin is you get to see the middle of the shopping experience. So you get to see what people liked, even if they didn't buy it. And what they looked at, even if they didn't buy it, which is super fun and very, very helpful because it shows you what the shiny objects are. What are people looking at? So, you know, it's a demo site. So obviously we got sellers here, but I think that's all because it's a demo site. So um, over here, there's also what to look for. So in Styliquin, you'll see the top 10 shiny objects. You can click view more and it'll give you all of them. Um, and these are your most attention getting products. They're frequently your best sellers, right? Makes sense. Um, but take a hard look at them because if they're not on the bestseller list, then customers were interested, but they didn't buy them. And that is super, super interesting information to have. So you should be asking yourself, are they similar to bestsellers or are they more expensive or less expensive? Do they have additional features? Are they differentiated in some way? Um, are they part of a trend that you can capitalize on? Like if all of a sudden you see people are looking at, you know, I don't know, something green, like, and it's right before St. Patrick's Day, duh. Um, that gives you an idea of a trend. But it could be, you know, like all of a sudden hippopotami are big or all of a sudden, um, you know, anything with stripes is big. Shiny Objects is going to help you find that. Do most of them fit into a single product category that can be promoted? Um, do they have common features, colors? Um, is, it, is there a popular color that's coming out? So I'm trying to read this in talk, which is actually very difficult. And then do the main photos like, so what you want to look at is on the shiny objects, the ones that are getting people's attention, what is it about them that makes them so attention getting? And how can you do that to other products? Because clearly you got a winning formula, roll it out to everything. All right. So that is shiny objects. And next week, we're going to be talking about so close, so close. All right. Thanks for joining us. And we will see you next time on Humpty Bar Hopping with Styliquin.